My next question dovetails with what you just said. Um, I'm curious about why you created the video content. You created the first action sport videos. Was it to show and promote street skating? I mean, obviously that was part of it. Was Look, it just I, because I, you had a bunch of young kids and you just wanted to screw around the camera? It's a lot of things. I, ha I had a neighbor who was living in Hollywood in an apartment. My neighbor was, uh, uh, had gone to film school. He came to me one day in 1982 or three and said, um, hey, I can make a skateboard video for your company for $5,000. I went to George and I said, hey, D. David says he can do this for us. And George yeah. just said yes. Say yes. What was the outlet going to be at that point? We were going to make it for stores. Uh, there was no such thing as a VCR. Got it. Didn't exist yet. Right. Okay. So we were going to make this for in-store purchases. Because magazines are very one, either one-dimensional. You see the trick at the apex, but you don't know how he got yeah. to the trick or got out of the trick. Right. And we thought a video will help do that. Well, we, didn't, our, we had incredible great fortune when something happened because I ended up making the video, which is another story. But when we released it, we released it on the eve of the VCR revolution, mm. where George and I figured we'd sell to a thousand shops. I think we ended up selling 30,000 of those first videos because they sold to kids' living rooms. Mm. George Did shops start selling them? They just started selling the videos? Selling the crap out of them. Nice. And what they told us is that every kid that buys one, 50 kids see them. <laughs> So George pulls me into his office in 1985, and, and we're, we're coming out of the dark ages, okay? Yeah. I've been living for the last five years on $1,000 a month. That's what I've been making from the company. George sits me down. I'm just coming back from Tahoe from a contest that Lance Mountain has won. George hands me an envelope. So I go, what's this? And he goes, open it. I open the envelope. It's a check for $15,000. Nice. It's the most money I've seen in you know, a long, 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 long time. Right. I go, what is this? And he goes, you have no idea what business these videos are generating for us. He goes, our distributors all over the world are telling us we need to do this every single year. So you've got to get started on the next one right now. And what we didn't realize is these kids were, this was before the YouTube generation. Yeah. They were looking at them like YouTube yep. over and over and over and over. And it yep. was speeding up the transmission of information in skateboarding mm -hmm. because they could see what needed to be done now. They could see a complete run on a ramp or on the street. They could see how to ollie over a bush. Yep. They could run it back, look yeah. at it again, over stop and over. it. They could talk about it. Yep. And it just op went and flooded in their consciousness. And so um, we stumbled into it and then realized, wow, this is big, and then we really started to pedal to the metal. And we owned that market for three years alone. Why do you think other folks didn't, they just? They didn't know how to do it.